Hey everyone, welcome back to another Build to Thrill video. While this is no Shadow Stalker exclusive, I wanted to do something a little bit different today, and it goes along with a question that I've gotten a lot recently. What makes building a backyard roller coaster different than going off of a real roller coaster? And there are a lot of differences here because a backyard roller coaster is way downscaled compared to a real roller coaster. So it's time to dive into all of that right now. One quick thing before we hop into the video, 96% of you are not subscribed to our channel, so if you like what we do here, please make sure to hit the sub and like and whatever else. Also, please be sure to check out our merch shop in the description below if you want some cool Shadow Stalker merch or Built to Thrill merch, and also some exclusive Black Stallion merch. Obviously, if interested in a backyard coaster, you're gonna need some inspiration. And the first place to look is a real roller coaster. I will not disagree about that. But it's really kind of where to look. And there's a lot of spots. Something I highly suggest to looking at when looking at a real roller coaster to build a backyard one is profiling. Now, obviously your profiling isn't gonna be as big as a real roller coaster, but you do want it spread out just kind of like a real roller coaster. You don't want to make it too tight, otherwise the car may not be able to get through. And the car is going to be big, so I would definitely be able to keep that in mind. That is one of the big takeaways from a real roller coaster. Another thing to be on the lookout for is safety features. While you don't have to go in as in depth with safety features as on a real roller coaster, you do want to follow certain ones because if let's say you're building a roller coaster where it may have a lot of air time, you are definitely gonna need a seatbelt and maybe even a lap bar. You have to be able to choose which is the best. And the best example of that is a real roller coaster. Because if you see a certain airtime hill on a real roller coaster and you see people fly up, that may be a good way to indicate whether you may need one or you may not need one. Now, with similarities, there are differences, and I can definitely name a couple, but one example that comes to mind is the space between the bents, also known as the ledgers. The ledgers are basically what holds up the track, such as on a wooden coaster, I'd say, just because of, that's what I built. Um, it holds a lot of weight, and you need a certain distance between them. You don't want them as spaced apart, because otherwise the track may be able to sink in, and that isn't great. So that is definitely something to be on the lookout for and make sure you know how strong your track is. Another thing that you're definitely not gonna wanna copy is car size. I've heard a lot of stories and seen a lot of backyard roller coasters fail because they try to make more than one car. While it is possible, you need a certain type of roller coaster to do that. And I'd say most backyard roller coasters don't have that potential, unfortunately. But as it is a good thought, and you can always try and maybe you'll even prove me wrong one day, it's not the best idea to go in thinking that you can make a giant car like you may see on a big steel coaster or even a large wooden coaster. Now just some things you should look out for when looking at a real roller coaster is what areas have the most force going on to them that you may need more supports in. because. Areas like that are definitely going to need extra support to make sure the coaster stays up and stays in good shape. Another thing to look out for is maintenance, because the way real roller coasters do maintenance and the way you have to do maintenance on backyard roller coasters are, is very similar. Because you have to make sure all the wheel wheels are in good shape and don't have to be replaced, and other things like that. If you enjoyed today's video and you like things like this, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and leave a comment down below just to show us how, how much you really like this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.